Hello everyone, this is Ryan Doobie with MakeYouSo.com. In a previous video, I showed you how to set up live dashboards in Google Analytics, but there are a lot of folks out there who have never even signed up for Google Analytics or added it to their website. People tend to think this process is fairly complicated, and I think that scares off a lot of people from using analytics on their blog or website. But that's not the case at all. Analytics is extremely simple to set up, and in this video I intend to show you how. The first step, of course, if you don't already have an analytics account, is to sign up for one. In the process of signing up, you're going to provide Google with information about your website. First, go to the Google Analytics website and click on Sign In in the upper right corner. Under there, choose Analytics. On the sign-in screen, sign in under your Google account if you have one. If you don't, then you need to create one by clicking on More Options. Then choose Create Account. To create a Google Analytics account, you need a Google account. So this is where you create the account that will be associated with your first Analytics website ID. Now, if you already have a Google account, all you have to do is sign into it to get access to your Google Analytics. When you log into Google Analytics, you can add a new website by going to the admin area and then clicking the drop down under account and just choosing create new account. You're allowed up to 100 uh, different website accounts with a single Google Analytics login. So you could create a new website, your own website, let's call it my website. And then you just give it the URL. And then choose the industry category that your website falls under. And then of course the time zone. The time zone is fairly important because well, you want the data to be displayed in your time zone, so make sure you include the correct time zone. Typically I leave all of these selected, basically reporting to Google and different information. I just uh, leave those selected. And then you get your tracking ID for that account. That will add it to your list of websites, the drop down list. So now once your new website has been added to your Google Analytics account, you want to obtain the tracking code that you can paste into your own website, which I'll show you in a, in a little bit. To get access to the tracking code, you need to go to Admin, and then under Property, go to Property Settings, and here you can see your tracking ID. What you actually need is the tracking code that you can paste into your account, so you want to click Tracking Info and click on Tracking Code. Now this is the code you're going to need to insert into your website on every single page of your site. You're probably wondering how in the world you can paste this code into every single page on your site, right? Well, thanks to the way WordPress and PHP works, you really don't have to worry very much about this if you're using a good theme with headers and footers. I'll show you how to do this in a moment. For now, copy this text and paste it somewhere, like into a notepad or some other place where you can get to it later. Okay. Now you need to go into cPanel or FTP into your website so that you can view and edit your site files. In my case, I use WordPress with a professional theme that I purchased. I usually access and edit my site through FTP, but since many new users use cPanel to access their files, I'll show you how you can insert your code through this path. Your web host provider can help you access cPanel for your site if you don't already know how. Once you're in cPanel, you'll find a file manager there where you can access your site files. You'll be editing theme files, so you'll need to drill down to your theme through WP Content, Themes, your specific theme name that you're using with your website. And here's where you'll typically find your header.php or footer.php files. In my case, I'm going to use the header since I know my header shows up on every single page of the site. So you right click on header.php and click on edit. Then click on the edit button. Now you're in edit mode. Find the section of the code that has the slash head tag. This is the end of the page header section. Okay, so there's my slash head tag. If you paste your analytics, analytics code just before this section, it's typically the perfect location for it. Now in my case, I have a lot of other code that I paste into my site on every single page. Here is where I pasted my Google Analytics tracking code. Another slightly more complex approach is to paste this code into a new file inside your theme called something like analytics tracking.php. And then in your header, in this location, you'd include a PHP command called include once to load the file. But that's a little more advanced and beyond the scope of this video. If you use the approach I show you here, it'll work just fine. So save your changes and you're all set. That's the extent of inserting it into every page on your site if you use a WordPress theme. If you don't use a WordPress theme and you've custom coded your own site, it should have a similar format where you have a header or a footer section that you can paste the code into. Just make sure that it's inside the slash head tag before the slash head tag so it shows up on every page in the header. Or some people choose to put it into the footer, which is fine as well, as long as it shows up on every single page on the website. I'm going to go back to analytics now. And as you can see, this page shows you the status of your tracking, as well as how many users are, are active. So to test if your new code is working, you want to click on send test traffic. This will open your site in a new window, and you should see the number of active users displayed increment by one. 
there you go, just did. So that proves to you that, um, that each new session will increment the active counters and that the tracking code is working properly. So now all you need to do is sit back, give your site some time to collect data through analytics. Within a day or so, you should start seeing both real-time and historic data showing up in your Google Analytics account. You'll see it under Home, and in this drop-down, you'll see your site, which you can select, and you'll start seeing the dashboard for your, for your site. In the drop-down here, you have to navigate under the account you just created, under the property, and then click on the view. You can now, in, in analytics, set up different views for your web traffic, your mobile traffic, and other ways of uh, tracking your site visits. That's beyond the scope of this video, but just know that under, these, under this view option, you may see multiple options depending on how you've configured the display of your views, of your site views. So once you start collecting data, you'll see this dashboard showing your live data, how many users are live, um, recent site traffic, and you can start digging through the analytics data to see your overall site traffic. Now, if you want to know more ways to make use of your new Google Analytics account, make sure to read the articles on our website and our other videos on the topic. So until next time, thanks for watching and have fun collecting data.